Hey everyone, so today we're gonna take a look at a project by Alex and we are really happy to see how both our books and our tutorials are helping you improve your designs. It's awesome to see your progress. Okay, so let's go. So the first thing that we're gonna inspect here is the left and right margin. And as you can see, they're not the same on both sides, so we're gonna unify them to be 16. Now it already looks way better. And also to unify the values, we're gonna remove the spaces between the dollar signs. That's an interesting way of doing shadows by blurring the object underneath, but they should also be aligned to the same grid. Also, the indicator dot is sticking one point to the right side, but it's not sticking one point to the top, so I'm gonna move it a little bit higher. The card looks really nice, but it really needs a shadow underneath. Let's also bump the contrast of the text on the card. Now that's more of a personal choice, but I like the current state indicators to be really visible, so I'm changing this one to white. I'm adding an 8 point spacing in between the fonts and then centering them all in regards to the card. The gradient in the background looks really nice, but it's a bit too stretched for my taste, so I'm making it a little bit more pronounced and also modifying the top notification button. The icon itself, especially with the indicator light, is more than enough to actually show that there are notifications there, so we can actually move the button itself a little bit more to the background. Now fixing some small vertical alignment issues, and we should be done with the top of the screen. With fonts within one section, it's really good to have a little bit more of a difference between them. So I'm changing the font size 11 to 10 and I'm keeping the 14 as it is. For some extra readability, I'm also bumping the font weight to a little bit bolder and thicker. With the circular progress bar, we need to first fix the alignment so the distance from the top, bottom and left is exactly the same. And then let's change the number to a smaller font so it has a lot more breathing room within the circle. Some small typography adjustments, especially with the numbers, making the font a little bit thicker. And we should be done with most of the bottom part. One thing to note is for the values to actually make some sense. So if we're showing 75%, let's actually keep it at 75% in the numbers themselves, so I'm changing the 1000 to 1500. Fixing the top, bottom and right alignment of the little circular indicator to be exactly the same, and then making the arrow a little bit smaller. Money is the most important information in any banking app, so I'm making all the number values or dollar values in a bold font so they are clearly visible. One interesting visual idea would be to take the lines from the card and actually transfer them a little bit to the background itself, so it will have that unique look. Some final font adjustments and we're done here. As you can see in the before and after shots, the changes are very minimal because the project was pretty good to begin with. A lot of the principles from the book are used here and used here in the very good way. I'm super happy to see your progress, Alex, and really, good job, man. If you want to improve your designs, make sure to check out the free chapters and the free pages of our book. You can get them at designingui.com. And as usual, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video, and see you next time. Cheers!